YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Antha Barber coming back at you with another haircut tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be doing a high and tight comb over with a hard part. Stay tuned. I like to begin each cut by brushing or combing out my client's hair. In this case, I am using water. He came in with product and this is going to help loosen that up. All right, so now that I have everything combed out, I'm gonna come in with my gamma trimmers and I'm gonna begin to set my first guideline, which is gonna be my bald guide. Now that my bald guideline was created, I'm gonna come in with my style craft ergo with my one and a half guard with the lever fully open. And I'm kind of just setting a perimeter. This is gonna be a high and tight. And I thought a one with the lever fully open would be a good length for my client, but he actually wanted to go a little bit tighter. So I am gonna clean up my work area right now with this 1.5 with the lever open. Once I clean it up, I'll close the lever and I'll clean up everything underneath that. And then at some point, it's going to turn into a regular number one guard with the lever fully open again because my client wanted to go a little bit tighter. So that's exactly what I did for him. So right here as we get towards the back, right where my clipper was just at, you'll notice that there's a really light spot and it almost looks like, not a bald spot, but you could see it right now. Obviously to the left side of the screen, the hair is a lot darker and denser, but the hair also grows in a different direction in the area that I'm in. All that hair kind of grows forward and the spot next to it's really, really light. And then right here, um, I'm gonna come in with my clipper with the lever fully open no guard and I'm gonna begin to set and create my next guideline But also in this area that I'm in right now my clients head takes a really Deep indentation on both sides right where my clipper is at right above it the dark spot that you see so in order to give him a really clean blend um it takes work and you're going to see that as I work through my steps. So now that my guideline was created with the lever fully open, I'm now going to close my lever and begin to blend from the bottom of this guide right back up towards the top of this guide. And typically little by little, I would work my way up slightly opening my lever, blending everything up. But this ergo clipper has the notches on the side. So I'm going to go with the lever closed to the third notch and then to the fifth notch. And if there's anything in between, I'll blend it out as needed. All right, so now that I have that blended out, I'm now gonna come in with my number one guard with the lever fully open. And just like I showed you, I'm gonna use that flick out motion as I get towards the top, that length on top, because I'm not looking to set any guideline in right now. I'm trying to set it in softly because I know I'm not gonna be able to connect it, but I will be able to connect it later with some different steps. So for right now, I'm just trying to flick out towards the top to keep it very soft to avoid setting anything in harsh. So once I clean everything up with the lever fully open, then you'll see I'm gonna close my lever and I'm gonna begin to blend from the bottom of that guide right back up towards the top of that guide. So I'm literally gonna take that number one close right up to underneath where I just left off with that one fully open.
All right, so typically that one close, it leaves some weight behind. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that right now using my half guard. So I'm gonna come in with my lever fully open and I'm gonna begin to attack right above the weight that I see. And I'm gonna use that fade down process, meaning I'm gonna close my lever as needed, working my way down until this guide's completely blended out. Right in the area that I'm in right now, it's hard to see on camera, but if his head was churned, you would see that the hair grows in a different growth pattern. Um, and so it makes it difficult because that area looks really light. So when I say it takes time to give him a clean blend, this is what I mean by that. I have to kind of go over things a lot more than I typically would. I have to pay really close attention to the indentation areas like the one I'm working in now because we know those will tend to cast shadows and it'll make it look not evenly cut when it actually was. So sometimes it just takes time, um, but I assure you that my client appreciates all the time that he gets in my chair. And at the end of the day, he rewards me for that. So it's a win-win situation. And um, I know a lot of new barbers are always stressing time. I always get questions like, how long should my cuts take? How long should my cuts take? And the truth is, they should take however long they take. And as long as you charge your worth, you don't need to stress on time. All right, so here in the back of the head, I'm gonna repeat the same exact steps that I just walked you through to go ahead and bring the blend in the back to the sides. And I'm gonna do it in two parts. You're gonna see that I'll work the left side and then I'll work the right side. And as I'm working this left side right now, um, you could see the dark hair. You could see the growth pattern is different. The hair all kind of moves. I wouldn't say forward, but it moves to the side opposing to just dropping down like it should in this area. And I feel like that's what makes it look so dense right there above the area that I'm working in. And then if you look to the right side, you could see that it looks really light, almost like a bald spot. And it's actually not, the hair just grows in a different pattern there. And so when I actually turn my client, you'll see that it looks fuller when I'm working in that area. And it's just a trippy thing because you kind of got to step out of the box, maybe step out of, it made me step out of my comfort zone. I get so used to just going through my system that it's almost like being a robot sometimes. And then I get clients like this that I, I have to approach things a little bit differently. And so it, it, it makes me step out of my comfort zone. And that's a place I like to be because that's where I feel like I grow the most. So again, you can see that I'm taking my time through this haircut, but it, it's necessary. And again, my client really appreciates it and I appreciate him. And this is the way that I show him that I appreciate him. So for those of you that are subscribed and kind of do pay attention to my channel, you may have noticed that I've been gone for a while. I just kind of took some me time. Uh, it was definitely necessary and right now was kind of a perfect time for me to do that with the whole quarantine thing going on. And I just took time for myself, but I definitely plan on being back. So I kind of want to commit to at least dropping one haircut tutorial a week. So I want you guys to get active in that comment section below and let me know what day of the week that would be the most convenient for me to drop on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I just want to hear from you guys. What day would you be most likely to view my content? So right here, I'm using my gammas and I'm setting in my hard part. 
um, I like to keep it as thin as possible and then I'll whiten it or excuse me I will whiten it is that even a word I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly but I'll make the width of it bigger as needed with my straight razor and right here I'm just kind of cleaning up his lineup area he doesn't necessarily like to be uh, extremely boxed out or sharp or anything like that so I just keep everything as natural as possible and I use what's there and I make it as sharp as possible so now that my blend's starting to come together I'm gonna go ahead and do my shear work and my clients looking to get a basic trim um, what he likes is a little bit longer than finger length so what you see me doing is I'm pulling up sections of hair with my two fingers my middle finger and my pointer finger and I'm pulling it tight and I'm resting my fingertips or my whole fingers on his scalp and I'll follow the shape of his head as well and what I'll do is first I'll pull the hair really tight and keep my fingers on his scalp and then I'll slightly pull up but keeping that tightness to the hair and that's going to give me the length that I'm looking for and then I'll cut everything that hangs over my fingers and I'll just continue to work that system throughout the whole haircut. I'm basically cutting in like three major sections uh, from the left side to the middle to the right side. And then I'll go ahead and do some clipper over comb to kind of bring that blend into the fade on this side of the comb over. All right, so now I'm going to get into my clipper over comb and I'm not looking to remove a whole lot. I'm kind of just looking to remove what I'm showing you in the comb. And the way I just showed you, that's exactly how I want to angle my comb. I want to somewhat retain somewhat of a boxier shape towards the head right here. I don't necessarily want it to completely round off, um, but I do want it to connect and shape nicely. So I'm paying attention to that. And I am coming in with my clipper with the number one guard on with the lever closed. And it's just gonna allow me kind of like a safety net so I don't remove a whole lot. The hair still is saturated. Again, he did have some product and when I put the water in his hair, it really activated it and kind of never dried up. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw some more uh, product on top of that. And that's what you see me doing now. I'm kind of just doing some pre-styling. Got a little bit of the blow dryer coming out. Shout out to Gamma for this really dope blow dryer. Um, if I was good at using at all, I would definitely make tutorials with it because that blow dryer is absolutely dope. So now that I got somewhat of his hair styled, I could kind of see the flaws that need cleaned up. So I'm doing clipper over comb again. However, this time I'm coming in with no guard on with the lever fully open. Um, again, that lever, even just that lever being open still acts somewhat as a, a safety net, I would say. So. I just, it's a lot easier to remove less and go back in and remove more than remove too much because th that's the end of it, you know what I'm saying? So right here I'm just kind of cleaning up that hard part that I created, getting those little funky hairs that hang over. And then I'm just going to kind of do some uh, finish work. I'm going to go ahead and come in with my gamma trimmer and I'm going to completely remove all that bulk at the bottom that was left. And then I'm just going to kind of flip the trimmer over and clean everything up because that's going to be the desired length for my client. So I just want to say I appreciate y'all. I know it's been a minute. For those of you that are still rocking with me, man, hey, hey, I, I for real appreciate it. For those of you that have reached out to me during this time that I've been gone, um, I really appreciate it. And, um, you know, your boy was kind of going through it, man. So that meant a lot. So I just want to say... I appreciate y'all and I'm back man if you guys are feeling this go ahead and smash that thumbs up let's go ahead and spread this share it um, get it to somebody who you know would gain from it um, you know because that's what it's really all about it's about growth and that's why this channel was created and uh, that's the direction it's going in so again I appreciate y'all All right, so here it is, a look at the final cut. If you got anything useful off this, I ask that you smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, I suggest you stick around. It's only gonna get doper from here. I appreciate y'all, be blessed, and be a blessing. I'm out.